Uh, today I have this laptop, it's a Lenovo IdeaPad. Uh, they brought it to me with a power problem. When you try to press the power button, nothing happens, even these lights don't light up. So today I want to try and see if we can fix this one together. So what I'm going to first do, I'm going to take out this back cover. They did give me the charger, so I'm going to be using the power supply for powering it up. So the cover is out. So what I'm going to first do, I'm going to first measure the battery voltage. So you see the battery is connected here. Looks like we have zero. We have no voltage on the battery. Let me take out this protection and first check for any short on these coils. Let me take my meter in continuity mode. No shot. No shot. No shot. No shot. No shot. And no shot. Seems like we have no shot on this motherboard. Now I'm going to try to power up this motherboard using my power supply and see if this laptop can turn on. So I have connected the positive on this positive end of the power jack and the negative. However, when I try to turn on this laptop, it does not turn on, it does not even light up at all. So let me try to measure and see if voltage can be able to go through the first and the second MOSFET. So there is 20 volts here. 19, 20, 20, 20, 20. However, you see the voltage on the first MOSFET goes through but on the second MOSFET, power does not go through and that's why you don't have volts on the motherboard. Now there is a problem here because this MOSFET should not even be opened by 19. It should be opened by volts that is a bit lower than this. So I'm going to try cross check and see why isn't the second MOSFET opening up. So I'm going to check for the signal that turns on these two MOSFETs and see if the volts is there. So that's 19, 19, no volts. So it's 3.3 and it is zero on this resistor. So the signal that turns off the adapter is on. Now let me try to increase the current. So even though I increase the current, it still does not go away. Now I'm going to do some magic. I'm going to, to first make a loop. And yes, we have display on the screen. So the problem with this one was a false signal that was turning off the first MOSFETs and that's why it wasn't allowing votes to go through. On many motherboards, some people just take out the MOSFET and make a jumper, but that is possible usually with a, a laptop that has got a middle pin. But a laptop without a middle pin, it is recommended to 
leave those MOSFETs because those are the MOSFETs where the laptop can get to determine how much current the charger is supplying. So thank you guys for watching. I will assemble this one back and then I will give it to the customer. So if you find this video interesting, you can subscribe, you can share with your friend. And if you have any question, you can give me a comment. I will see you in the next video. Bye.